We're learning more details about a murder for hire case in southern Kentucky. More from a preliminary hearing ahead. 75 years ago, a rare set of Kentucky quadruplets attracted national attention. This week, they're celebrating their birthday. Prosecutors try to send Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel back to jail for murder. I'm Marley Hall at Connecticut Supreme Court with the latest coming up. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, to say the least. It is a soggy day here in the bluegrass with steady to heavy rain coming down most of the afternoon. And we are seeing some really strong winds out there. This all ahead of a changeover to snow, potentially. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is here now with an update on this WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. Chris? Yeah, guys, we've been uh, kind of giving you a fair warning of this. If you want it, chances are you're going to find it in the forecast with this storm system. Wrapping up right now and heading to our northeast. As it gets to the northeast of us into the Buckeye State, that cold air is wrapping around. Look what's going on to our south into parts of Tennessee, northern Georgia, northern Alabama. Notice a little pink mixing in. It is colder to the south than it is right on top of the bluegrass region right now as that cold air continues to funnel in around that area of low pressure. That's a big wind maker as well. Western Kentucky, that is a swath of rain and snow, I 65 and and points to the west. So the showers we're seeing now across parts of central and eastern Kentucky will switch over to just some out and out snows late this evening and carrying us right on through the day on Thursday. A little break in the action across the downtown Lexington area. Richmond down to Berea, McKee into Jackson County. Uh, Estill County getting it on some of the soggy weather again as well. But everything to our west is going to roll on into town and that includes the colder temperatures. It's 37 into Fort Knox, yet it's still near 60 into eastern Kentucky. Mid 40s across the Lexington Metro, where winds have been howling. Gusts still right now between 30 and 40 miles per hour. It's a colder wind gust that blows into the day on Thursday. And guys, when I come back here in a little over 10 minutes, we're going to talk about the potential for some wet, slushy snows into much of the region. That first call for snowfall is, again, 10 minutes away. All right, Chris, we'll see you in just a bit. Thank you. We are learning more about the case of a Southern Kentucky man accused in a murder for hire plot. 26 year old Jordan Nicholas is accused of hiring a hitman. What he didn't know, the hitman was an undercover officer. WKYT's Phil Pendleton was in court as police laid out the charges. It's our top story at 4 30. Jordan Nicholas was arrested last Tuesday after a confidential witness told police of his alleged plans. Now, police testified about the case in district court, telling the judge that the motive for all of this dealt in drugs. The sheriff's office detective said that a confidential witness told them that Nicholas wanted to hire someone to kill another person. He told the informant that they believe the victim was an informant as well. Police have since said that the would be victim was not an informant. Police say Nicholas actively pursued this plan, even driving the witness to the location of the potential victim. Police have since told us that the hitman Nicholas was to hire was actually a cop and that they recorded the conversation in a hotel room and arrested Nicholas shortly afterwards. Now the judge found probable cause for all of this and forwarded the case on to a grand jury, also ordering that Nicholas stay in jail on a $100,000 bond. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Police also say Nicholas told them that he thought the would-be victim was also selling drugs to children. Dance Blue kicks off this weekend. It is a chance for University of Kentucky students to dance for 24 hours straight to raise money and awareness for pediatric cancer. Dance Blue funding helps provide a social worker to each and every patient at the Dance Blue Kentucky Children's Hospital Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Clinic. UK freshman RJ E. Halda is on the morale committee for his years of Dance Blue, a cause close to his heart. A month and a half into my freshman year of high school, um, I went to have that MRI and the CAT scan, and they said it was cancer. And a couple hours after the diagnosis they gave me, they said I had to come back in because the tumor that was pushing against my back was potential. It could potentially paralyze me waist down because of the um, the size of it pushing against my spine. So uh, they did surgery on my back the the same day they did the scan. And that night, they said I had stage 4A Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. 
RJ has completed his treatments at UK and has been declared cancer free. We'll have more on this weekend's event coming up for you on WKYT News at 5:30. Those kids work really hard for dance yes, blues. Yes, they do. 75 years ago yesterday, four babies known as the Lashley Quads were born in Grayson County. Back in 1941, their birth was so rare it created a media frenzy in the small town of Litchfield. Erica Coghill has a special connection with the quads. She tells us where they are today. I was the first one that was born. I got my mother's name. Beulah Lashley is my grandmother. Her identical twin, Mildred, was born second. She knew that she was going to have twins. But no one anticipated quadruplets. Fraternal twins John and Martine were a surprise. We were born on Sunday morning, and uh, all everyone had gone to church except two of our sisters. The babies were born at their Litchfield home. Their births quickly gained national attention. Walter Winchell, Walter Winchell, Walter Winchell announced us on the Sunday evening news that we were born. Weighing in at an average of four pounds, eight ounces. Without the help of fertility drugs, quadruplets were incredibly rare. The survival even more so. After spending some time at a Louisville hospital, the babies received a warm welcome home, greeted by the media and crowds of people eager to get a glimpse. We were cute, two black heads, two blondes. We were cute, we had big blue eyes. The quads appeared in Carnation Milk ads. The company even built the Lashley family a new home, which still stands today, right off Lashley Quad Road. On the front porch, there were four windows, which in front of each window was us in our baby bed, in our crib. And the people would come and pay 25 cents for a viewing of all four of us. They did make movies of us when we were little, and they used to show them at the Litchfield uh, theater. Uh, theater and charge people to come in and see us. For years, the Courier Journal followed the foursome, marking their milestones. I think the last time we've had this done was when we uh, were uh, 50. When their brother John was still alive. He died of congestive heart failure 25 years ago. I miss him every day of my life. He was such a pleasure and such, he loved to joke. Beulah, Mildred, and Martine now live in Louisville. It's been a wonderful life, and it's been wonderful that, to still have siblings, Martine and Beulah. To love and even aggravate a little. Martine, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just helping you, Beulah. Well, I, I, can, I can remember okay. to say that. See, see the friction? <laughs> well, she can edit this out. <laughs> it's what happens when you're this close. And yeah. this, this is the one that was when we came made home. when we came home from the hospital. The quads made up half of their grade school class, always by each other's side. 75 years later, they're as close as ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to make 75 more, too, people. Well, happy birthday to the quads. That was Erica Coghill reporting. The quads' mother was 42 when the babies were born. In all, she had 14 children. She died when the quads were just three. Their sisters helped raise them. 14 kids. With the quads included, that's a lot of children to take care of. What a special story for that reporter, too, to be yeah. able to do that with her grandmother. So Very special. Well, there's a new chapter today in the ongoing legal saga of Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel. Prosecutors in Connecticut are trying to get his murder conviction for the 1975 death of his teenage neighbor reinstated. Marley Hall reports from the courthouse in Greenwich. Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel left Connecticut Supreme Court after prosecutors argued to reinstate his murder conviction. 
The state of Connecticut had three explicit confessions. Skakel was convicted in 2002 of the decades-old murder of his teenage neighbor, Martha Moxley. He had been serving more than 10 years in prison when a lower court threw out his conviction, saying Skakel received an inadequate defense from his lawyer, Mickey Sherman. Prosecutors say that's not true. This was far from a slipshod defense. This was a well-planned, well-thought-out, professional defense. Lawyers for the nephew of Ethel Kennedy say Sherman cared more about fame than winning the case. He got lost in the celebrity of the case. There's no doubt about it. They also say Sherman should have pointed the finger at other suspects, including Skakel's own brother, Tommy. If prosecutors lose their bid, Skakel will get a new trial. He's currently out on $1.2 million bail. Moxley's mother, Dorothy, who has been there throughout all the twists and turns of the 40-year case, says she is still convinced Michael Skakel is guilty. I'd like to see Michael Skakel back in jail, where I think he belongs. The court could take months to reach its decision. Marley Hall, CBS News, Greenwich, Connecticut. Some celebrities have big plans for Oscar night that have nothing to do with the award ceremony. We'll tell you what they will be doing more than 2,000 miles away ahead in Ion Entertainment. Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs is having the big leap year sale Friday through Monday with 30 to 50% off storewide. Suffs has a special on Lazy Boy recliners. Save $367, only $384. Save 44% on a three piece bedroom set, only $1744. You can be sleeping on a Tempur Pedic Queen set for $36 a month, interest free, or receive a $300 Suffs gift certificate. Look, Vito is getting ready for the leap year sale at Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs, Nicholasville Road, and Main Street, Georgetown. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. It is a windy day to say the least. WKYT first alert severe weather day. This morning was all about the heavy rains. It's about the winds. It's about a 30 degree temperature drop and soon coming to a theater near you. Some snow across central and eastern Kentucky. Look at the wind dancing around and causing our sky cam to do a little dance actually uh, on top of the station. Winchester Road, 31 mile per hour gusts at times. We've been greater than 40, down to 46 degrees. Literally though, this is, if you could update it every minute, you'd notice that temperature dropping just a little bit. It updates on the hours. So we'll see the colder weather that's out across the west, already upper 30s into central Kentucky in a matter of one to two hours. That's how quickly things have been dropping. 55 into Prestonsburg, 58 Ashland. Goodbye to those 50s with this powerhouse of a storm system that is right on top of the Ohio Valley. And that's a major Ohio Valley winter storm blizzard on the backside. Severe weather outbreak out ahead of that. Kentucky kind of in between everything. So we are getting in on some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder still. Eastern Kentucky now watch the rain changing to snow. 
into the I-65 corridor. Heavy rains from around Jackson toward sections of Hazard over toward Leslie and Clay counties heading to the north and northeast. Lexington, we've had a little bit of a break in the action. It's going to change up very, very quickly as we start to see the rain and snow pressing in this evening. Hard to even talk about snow after it's been in the 60s a little earlier today, but indeed, this is what we've been setting the stage for, and you can see the whites now showing up toward the I-65 corridor, all of that wrapping in as we go through tonight and tomorrow, and the flakes soon to fly all the way into parts of Georgia. It's going to snow in North Georgia before it snows in Lexington this evening. That's how far south and southeast we're getting in on this uh, surge of cold air coming in behind it. High winds still the main impact out there. Snow, it's not a lot. Road conditions, roads are warm. We, we've been in the 70s over the past week at times. What we're going to see is a lot of melting on roads. Cold weather with this, it's seasonally cold, low 30s. So it's a wet snow that falls across most of central and eastern Kentucky. Coatings to maybe an inch or two where you live. If you get lucky or unlucky, depends on your perspective on that one. What sticks tonight and tomorrow will mainly be on the grass and will be on the car tops and the rooftops. A little better chance in the far north and across far southeastern Kentucky during that time. Tracking the progress, by 7 o'clock, it's already down to 35 in Lexington. And the numbers just keep on dropping as the snow band settles in from northwest to southeast. So we're right around the freezing mark. That means we can slick it up a road here or there. First thing tomorrow morning especially, but that ground temperature is still awfully toasty, so it would likely be a bridge or overpass that could slick it up before anything else. 34 tomorrow with some snow, some accumulation, some melting, you know the routine. It's almost March. 32 for Friday with a leftover flake in there, 50 on Saturday, 60 for Sunday, gusty winds, and then we go back down with another front as we go into Monday of next week. The yo yo pattern right now is in full effect, guys. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Sometimes it's up and down within a day. If you were out today, it was hard not to get wet wherever yeah. you were. I mean, I, it was. Or blown around by all that yeah. wind. I put on my winter coat to come to work today, and it was 60 degrees. I know. Because I, I, knowing what mm -hmm. I'm going to have to leave mm -hmm. with a little later yep. on, it'll be snowing when we leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Chris. All right. <laughs> From photography, hair and makeup, even a beautiful bridal dress, they've got you covered. It's all a part of Joyful Day Giveaway. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about at Twirl to explain. CBS Tonight, Go! Survivor is back with brains versus brawn versus beauty. And already there are big problems. We can't make a fire. We don't have any fresh water. We don't have anything to eat. Bad blood. Liz, she knows everything about everything. And it's just irritating. And I missed her last night. You missed him? A budding bromance. I like hanging out with Ty. He is one of a kind for sure. He's trying to kiss me. I think he likes it a little bit. New Survivor, CBS Tonight, or stream it live or on demand. We've just made the biggest laundry buyout in our 70-year history. Now get a buyout LG or Whirlpool washer and dryer and save up to 30%. 24 months, zero interest. And we service what we sell. Another reason why... Nobody beats PDRATS. As consumers who pay our insurance premiums on time, we assume that our homeowners' auto and business claims will be properly evaluated and paid in good faith by our own insurance companies. Yet, many times, we find that's not the case. The reason is simple. Insurance companies are in business to make a profit. If you believe that your claim has been underpaid or denied, or if you'd just like us to review it before taking their final offer, call us or visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. My life's all about sports, but families first. Having lots of fun, but protecting them from the unforeseen with insurance, a will, and a trust. A famous coach inspired me, and now I have a plan. Do you? 
Kerr Brothers for more than 100 years. Attention, Green's Toyota of Lexington is having a sale so big it can only happen every four years. Green's Leap Year Sales Event this weekend. Save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Special APR offers available, including 0% APR on our most popular models. And get up to $2,000 customer cash on 13 different models. A Leap Year Sales Event only at Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer. Four years running. Green's Toyota. Great people. Great cars. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. We make it easy to save on the area's largest selection of buy one, get one free recliners, starting at just $2.99. Special financing? Of course. Just another reason why nobody beats P-Rats. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Some Lexington businesses say they believe that love, both given and received, is one of the greatest gifts of all. And that's why they're doing a joyful day giveaway. Dan Stevens is out and about today at Twirl with more. Hey, Dan. Hey, good afternoon, guys. No worries here. Uh, I'm just being pampered a little. This is all about something called a joyful day giveaway. Can you do anything with that, Allison? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, I can do lots with it, honey. It's all about being treated for a joyful day giveaway. I'll let you go back over there now. Ty and Liz are with us. And getting your hair done, getting a beautiful dress, putting a whole wedding together. Is that what this is all about? That's what it's all about. We want to make this couple feel like the most loved couple in the whole world. Mm -hmm. We want to celebrate their love, celebrate their story, and want to give them the wedding that they deserve. You guys know how much it takes to put in a put a wedding together and the expense of it talk a bit about that it's crazy it's crazy how much a wedding costs and how much goes into it um but we get life happens and hardships can happen and um a wedding is difficult and so we're just trying to lift that burden for somebody and just have them enjoy being engaged being in this part of life and not have to worry about anything else so yeah. so you say it's as simple as telling the story yes. tell folks your story Visit our website, joyfuldaygiveaway.com, and there's an entry form. You can nominate someone. You can nominate yourself. We want as many details about your story and why you feel like you're the deserving couple that deserves this incredible wedding giveaway. I mean, so talk about the giveaway. What all does it include? Ray um, showing some beautiful dresses. <laughs> we've got 14 vendors in this with us. We've got anything and everything you can think of. We've got dress. We've got hair and makeup. Uh, the livery is the venue downtown. Um... We've got all sorts of stuff. Anything you can think of, we've got it covered. So it rounds out to about $30,000 worth of a wedding, and we've got it covered. Okay, so go to joyfuldaygiveaway.com, tell your story, and your wedding is totally covered. I love what you guys have put together, especially the fact they're including our whole community. Okay, you're going to have to get up. It's my turn again. I like this being pampered thing. You too can be pampered. Don't forget, joyfuldaygiveaway.com. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. <laughs> At the twirl. Back to you guys. It's going to take a lot of work, Deanne. <laughs> Sorry. Two Hollywood heavyweights are skipping this year's Oscar ceremony. Creed director Ryan Coogler says he will spend Sunday night at the Justice for Flint benefit in Michigan. His group Blackout for Human Rights is holding a night of entertainment and fundraising for that community devastated by the contaminated water crisis. Selma director Ava DuVernay, who was ignored by the Academy last year, will also be there along with Grammy-winning singer Janelle Monet. If you can't carry a tune in a bucket, find out how joining this unique choir could be the key to gaining some confidence. Hi, Shane Huffman with the Neil Huffman Automotive Group, and we're celebrating the grand opening of Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where you can get two brand new 2015 Honda Civics for just $449 a month. All those details are on our website, and remember, Huffman has it now in Frankfurt. Important message for women and men ages 50 to 85. Please write down this toll-free number now. Right now in areas like yours, people are receiving this free information kit for guaranteed acceptance life insurance with a rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. If you are on a fixed income or concerned about rising prices, learn about affordable whole life insurance with a lifetime rate lock that guarantees your rate can never increase for any reason. If you did not receive your information or if you misplaced it, call this number now and we'll rush it to you. Your acceptance is guaranteed with no health questions. Please stand by to learn more.
I'm Alex Trebek, and the announcement you just heard is for a popular and affordable life insurance plan with a rate lock guarantee. That means your rate is locked in for life and can never increase. Did you get your free information kit in the mail? If not, please call this toll-free number now. In the last month alone, thousands have called about this plan with the rate lock guarantee through the Colonial Pen Program. And here's why. This plan is affordable with coverage options for just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in and can never go up. And your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. See how much coverage you can get for just $9.95 a month. Call now for your free information kit. Don't wait. Call today. Call 1-800-909-4488 for your free information and free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-909-4488. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-909-4488. Call now. Hi, Shane Huffman with the Neil Huffman Automotive Group, and we're celebrating the grand opening of Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where you can get two brand new 2016 Honda Accords for just $4.99 a month. All those details are on our website, and remember, Huffman has it now in Frankfurt. We are really trying to cram in as much wild weather as we can into 24 hours today. I think we're succeeding, and Chris, uh, you're the band leader. Just take <laughs> us right on through it, buddy. You know what? I am the leader of this orchestra, and yes, we are indeed getting in on that big temperature drop as of now. It is surging eastward. Look how much colder we are to the southwest. 41 Somerset, 38 Bowling Green, Fort Knox at 37, yet still mid and upper 50s across eastern Kentucky. Cold air is actually coming in from the west and the southwest as of now. So that number in Lexington just dropped to 43 degrees. We'll be into the upper 30s here in just a matter of an hour or two. West of 65, hello, a little bit of wet snow beginning to mix in with the rains. West of 65, and that's what we're going to be facing as we go through a little later on this evening into the overnight. A slushy accumulation. It's very light that we're talking about tonight and into the day on Thursday. Wind's a big player out there now. Gusts are greater than 40 miles an hour at times. So if you're out driving both hands on the wheel, I would imagine that's some good advice from Officer Don as well. He's in now to check on the traffic. Don? Chris, overall view of Lexington rush hour traffic. We have slowdowns, of course, leaving campus on South Lime. Uh, about Southland Drive, but a break and then slow again in front of the mall. Also delays on Harrodsburg Road approaching the crossover, something that we're dealing with uh, right now. As far as wrecks, well, none working at the moment, and we cleared the problem on Newtown Pike on the exit ramp by 75, so okay there. Drive times to Nicholasville, about normal so far, 12 to 15 minutes, been varying a little bit. It looks like outbound toward Mount Sterling, 64 looks good. And 75, both directions into Scott County, uh, Georgetown, and over toward Richmond, no problems. Now back to you in the studio. A place for people who can't sing, an artistic bedroom, and a pretty cool photo bomb. It's the video that will have you talking. Take a look at this. A British woman who was told to stop singing when she was a child because she was not good enough has set up a public choir. Nadine Cooper avoided singing in public for years after her school music teacher told her she was spoiling it for everyone else. Well, now she has set up the tuneless choir in Nottingham for those who lack in confidence and need more practice. I should probably start a chapter here in Lexington. I, don't, I can't carry a tune. <laughs> Availability is tight for a $10 Airbnb rental in Chicago designed to look like a Vincent Van Gogh masterpiece. Openings for the space at the Art Institute of Chicago, modeled after Van Gogh's famous painting of his bedroom, have sold out quickly. The curator says Van Gogh's bedroom in the south of France represented something he was looking for all of his life, a place of his own. The blue walls, yellow chairs, and painted floor in Chicago are all familiar, but this version comes with a double bed, Wi-Fi, and an indoor bathroom, something Van Gogh didn't have for sure. No, beautiful. So over the years, our Rob Bromley has seen it all as he's reported on the University of Kentucky Wildcats. Well, now, adding getting photobombed by player Marcus Lee to the list, the six foot nine junior from California jumped in while Bromley was reporting on number 16 Kentucky's 78 to 53 victory over Alabama last night. Kids will be kids, you know, and Rob took it really well. Mm -hmm. And we forget that those guys are just big kids they for are. sure. Much more to come now on WKYT. Stick with us here at 5 o'clock.